All right, and last but certainly not least, we have Chris with Music Matcher, which is a social application of data from Spotify. Hello, I'm Chris. Uh, my project is Music Matcher. Uh, so the way we're listening to music now is changing fairly rapidly. Uh, in the past, you can see that streaming uh, music was very uncommon, but it is growing exponentially uh, in the recent years. Uh, and during those same years, out of the two major streaming services, which are Spotify and Apple Music, uh, Spotify is clearly winning the race, and they are growing much quicker than uh, Apple Music is. So if you look at just this year, uh, people under 30, how they're listening to music, you can see that uh, the vast majority of them are streaming music now and not listening to radio, which is how people were digesting music in the past. Uh, and the way that people are discovering new music uh, is still radio and friends. So what we're seeing here is a change in how people are digesting music, but not a change in how people are discovering music. So what I aim to do was kind of marry those two trends and uh, take advantage of the fact that people are streaming music now, but they still value that human connection and they still want people to kind of recommend new music to them. So to complete this project, I use the Spotify API, uh, Pandas and NumPy for data processing, and Surprise, which is a scikit-learn library that specializes in prediction algorithms. And finally, for my front end, I used uh, React Bootstrap and JavaScript. So what data will be used? I don't ask for a lot of data. Uh, I know people value their data. So the only data I will ask for is your recently played music. So uh, it'll pop up on the Spotify website when you log in, and it will ask you, is it OK if this website accesses your recently played music on Spotify? And you hit yes, and that is all I will be getting. So pretty much the pipeline here is uh, the Spotify API sends the data to my back end, which is in Python and then it sends it to Music Matcher website. So a little bit about the, uh, the back end because that's where most of the magic happens. Uh, so you take the recently played, which is given directly from Spotify. Uh, the way that Spotify gives you this data is, or one of the ways, is that you can access your favorite artists in during period, three periods of time, one of them being a short period of time, medium, and long. So I take that data and I apply set theory, which you can see with these Venn diagrams, the A and the B and the C would represent uh, short period of time, medium period of time, and long period. And then I, depending on which artist ends up where on the Venn diagram, uh, they're assigned different weights of how important that artist is to you. Uh, for example, if the artist is in both your long-term favorites and your medium-term favorites, it would mean that this is someone that you listen to uh, for a long time and he's, he's one of your all-time favorite artists so he would receive a higher rating in the system. So from there uh, I use pandas to create a data frame of the, only the unique artists uh, that were returned and the ratings that I generated uh, based on the set theory. And now that database is sent to, that data frame is sent to MongoDB for storage. And then now that the data has been pre-processed, uh, you to actually match users and to uh, match users together with similar music taste, we request that same data frame from spot from MongoDB, and we do something called uh, matrix SVD, which is singular value decomposition. Essentially, what that is is in the same way that you can factor an equation that is x squared into two x values. Uh, a big matrix, you can factor and figure out the missing values much the same way. Uh, and then from there, we are left with uh, two of these, uh, they're vectors, but you can just think of them as big lists of favorite artists that are uh, in common with both users. So both user has the same list and uh, values are predicted uh, to fill in the artists that one user has listened to but the other user has not. So there are no zero values. 
And then from there, we apply cosine similarity, which is pretty much just looks at the two lists of artists uh, and their ratings, and it determines how similar these two users are with music taste. And then from there, it matches you with users that uh, have very similar music tastes to yourself. So we'll do the demo. Okay. So <clears throat> the way I do this is I actually don't store any passwords at all. So you log in through the Spotify cert API. So all that's required is your Spotify username, which I have a family plan, so mine's automatically generated. That's my Spotify username. So you submit. And then it will redirect you to the dashboard, which is kind of just a visualization of your favorite artists. So this is top 25 favorite artists uh, as computed by my algorithm. Uh, this is my own data. Uh, so that's just like a visualization. From there, uh, you can go to user profile, which again, I don't actually store any of this data. This data is all from the Spotify API and is loaded live uh, when you load the web page. So it is your username, your email, the name you have for your Spotify, and also this URL, which if you go to it, is your public profile on Spotify. So this is any playlist you may have. Uh, so if, if you're recommended to someone, you can see, you can put in their link and see what kind of public playlist they have and what kind of uh, music they listen to. And this is your Spotify uh, picture that's loaded. And finally, uh, the part that happens behind the scenes is a friends list. Uh, I wasn't able to get that many friends uh, for some technical reasons, but I do have uh, my sister and three of my friends from home. <laughs> and this is uh, after feeding it through the algorithm. Uh, these were the similarity scores. They're between zero and one. One being a perfect match, zero being these two people couldn't be any less similar in music taste. And uh, so you can see, OK, if I wanted to find some new music, uh, EJB Green, he's a pretty close match to me. Uh, probably be a good idea. I can message him, and uh, we can start talking about music and giving each other recommendations. And uh, that's, that's my project. I, I don't have a slide for it, but in the future, uh, I want to add like messaging uh, functionality within the website. So if you're matched up with a user, then you can immediately start a conversation with them and uh, kind of talk about music and match. And then beyond that, uh, once you add a friend, maybe like a news feed of saying, uh, like your friends list will be comprised completely of people who have similar music taste. And uh, they can, you can make posts about like, hey, uh, this is someone I'm listening to now. They're pretty good. And it'll just pop up on your news feed of the things your friends uh, are recommending. So uh, that's it. You guys have any questions? <laughs> yeah, please. I'm over 30. <laughs> okay. I do want to match my music list the same way you do. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I, I really like your app because I listen to a lot of music. It's kind of, I want someone to like have some of the music that I have. Right. Just trying to find like other things they may have listened to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's really good. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So first off, no shame on the sister being on there. My sister has amazing music taste. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, so these these vectors here, uh, you're you're finding the cosine between to uh, get similarity. Like how many dimensions are going on in these vectors? I guess that. Um, it is the total amount of unique artists that are returned by Spotify between you and the person you're matching with. So for me, my personal vector was 86 artists, but when you combine it with somebody else, uh, the number of unique artists that they have that you don't will also be added on. So theoretically, it could be 120, 100, somewhere around there, probably. Yeah? What was the decision for you to use Oh, uh, just because I, I didn't, the way I was storing data was 